Welcome to this presentation showing data flow from the Quadri BIM model to Trimble Works Manager. This allows you to send construction ready data to machines in the field. The presentation will be held by Dan Hamilton and myself, Patrick McGloin. Dan, based in the UK, provides technical support for Trimble machine control software. And I am the European sales manager for the Trimble civil software. Quadri, together with Trimble Connect, offer a common data environment for design and construction. Quadri enables feature-based collaboration during the whole design and construction phase, allowing multiple domain users using multiple design systems to work against the same model. Quadri then becomes the source for a digital twin in the maintenance phase. Trimble Connected Construction aims to provide a solution from early design through construction and into the maintenance phase. The Quadri CEDE becomes the platform that tries to achieve this. An open platform supporting multiple design solutions, multiple formats, both in and out, to be able to produce a complete BIM model from the design through the construction and then into the maintenance phase. Now to the demo. Uh, we're going to use a UK data set that has kindly been provided. So now over to Quadri. So here we have our Quadri model. This represents uh, a project in the south of England. Um, the data has been created for this demo, so uh, it does not re represent actually what's going to happen in this area. But anyway, in this project, we have uh, a four lane highway. We have a double track railway. We have a, a great separated intersection. A couple of roundabouts. And we have the structures then uh, associated with the different crossings. All the information in the model has come through what we call tasks, and the tasks are listed in the Explorer tree. So for example, here we have the import tasks, and this is to create a model of the existing situation. So survey data, GIS data, mapping data, uh, an overlay, orthophoto, and so on, existing buildings. Uh, and this is the basis then for the design. Once we have imported the necessary data, we can start modeling also inside Quadri. So Quadri has modeling tools to produce a ground surface, subsurface, and other uh, volume uh, objects, for example, like existing pipes. Um, and here we then have the terrain ground surface and the subsurface layer. Then we go over to the different disciplines and uh, here we've produced all the different roads associated with this model. And they can be produced either through file import or through dynamic links to for Trimble Nova Point or to, Trimble, or to Civil 3D or to uh, Bentley Open Roads. All these operations represented by the tasks, they produce then um, real world features. And here we have an overview of all the features in this model. So a feature is a real world object, uh, including both its object description, its geometry, and its attributes. Here you can see a bridge property, uh, and this particular bridge is the Snowdown underpass. Objects um, have attributes, and one of the attributes that's important is whether it's a design object, 
so something to be built or whether it's an existing object, something that's been there from before. So um, let's have a look now at the main highway. This particular highway is six kilometers long. We can go in and view it as a standalone object here, view in 3D. And here we see uh, the highway itself, and it's a six kilometer long object. I can also just drag in the associated structures. And here we can just drag in the four bridges. Just drag and drop. And then we see the different structures that have been associated with this project. So here's one of the railway uh, bridges. Here's the tunnel underpass. And uh, here we have the main bridge for the um, great separated intersection. We can also uh, look at a cross section of this road. I've prepared this here, and now you see the cross section. So if we take our 3D presentation and we add our cross section on top, now we can see the cross section and we can see the 3D representation of the road. So as mentioned, this road is six kilometers long, but let's say we want to construct now um, a section of this road from 500 to 1,000. And we want to take out, not of course the whole road, but we want to take the lowest construction surface. So we can mark our um, export summary task. We can go up to output, export to file. We give it a name and we can call it main road station 500 to 1000 excavation. And then you're in the, using the query system, we can select the exact data that we want to send to machine control. So first I select the feature, and then at the task level, I can select the main road. I also want to select the alignment associated with that road, which is center line 501. As you see now, the complete road is selected. All the surfaces and the string lines are selected. But I only want to send uh, the bottom set of string lines and the bottom surface. So then I go to the feature level. And at the feature level, we want to select the linear element. And that represents, as you see marked in red now, the center line. And then I want to select uh, the lowest construction work surface. And you see that now highlighted in red. So this is the surface that I want to send. But I also want to send the associated strings. So then we can go and select the stakeout string structure. And again, this selects all the string lines. But I can go into the next level of the filter, and I only want the roadbed. And then I can select all those. So now I've selected the low surface and I've selected all the string lines that represent the change in, um, in slope for all these surfaces. So now I've made the selection and I've selected 116 features. Uh, in addition, I mentioned I only want to select from 500 to 1000. So I can go back into the select features and I can go up to the next level, which is the location. And here I see my center line. I can double click it and now I can edit it and say I want to send from 500 to 1000. So now I've filtered the string lines I want to send, the surface I want to send, and which stretch of road I want to send. Now I need to select the format, and we want to send it to Trimble Equipment. We want to use the From To Station. We can have a quick look at the settings. And here you see that we want to send to Earthworks. I could also have sent to the GCS 900. 
uh, I can either use the DSZ or the VCL. In this case, I'm going to use the DSZ. I wanted to combine the surfaces so that if I've selected multiple sources, surfaces, they become one. Uh, and I don't need the CAL file because that will be managed by Works Manager. So we take Save to Task. And then we select the rules necessary to convert these features to the Trimble format. So I want the irregular line, irregular lines for the string lines, and I want the uh, roadbed surfaces uh, and the roadbed brake lines. Now we can take a preview to see uh, what we are planning to send. And here you see that. Um, that this is the uh, this is the the surface that represents from uh, 500 to 1,000, and we see actually it is multiple surfaces, but during the import they will be converted to one surface. And we can decide. Uh, Either we can create a local file or we can send upload to Trimble Connect. Take finish. And then we can choose uh, where we want it to send it to. So for this demo project, uh, we have called it Real World Project UK. And we can send it then to um, Export to Works Manager. And we can save. So now the surface, the string lines, and the center line are sent to uh, a file on Connect, and they're available to be downloaded into Works Manager. And Dan will take it from here. Thank you very much. So to create a job in Works Manager now, uh, we can come to Designs, uh, Add, and we'll give it a name. And we choose whether it's machine control or data collector. And then once we've done that, we get to choose now uh, what files we use. So if we uh, come into here, uh, hit plus, we can choose import file from Trimble Connect. Uh, this takes us into the Trimble Connect folder tree where we can select uh, the export to Books Manager folder and we can select. Uh, the files in here and then we can choose which version of that file we want to use and at, in this case we've, we've taken a DSZ file from Quadri into Connect and now we're bringing it into here and we can see because the DSZ file contains both surface and line work it's filled out both uh, and now we just need to publish and now we can see that test Two that's in there uh, and that will now go out to any device that's within this project uh, that is machine control.